Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Savannah. I love all things Disney related, especially the Disney parks and especially Disney World. So for anyone wanting to um, take virtual tours through the parks with me as I vlog, um, or if you're liking just haul videos, we probably won't do too many of these, but here we are. And then um, last but not least, I'll do some like tips and tricks um, so that you are the most prepared you can be for your upcoming Disney trip. So with that being said, let us get into the video. Um, this is a small haul from our last Disney World trip from October 1st through the 4th. Okay, so the first item is from our very first day that when we were in the parks. If you have not gone and seen my last vlog, um, it was Epcot and Animal Kingdom. So if you have not seen that, go ahead and find that video. Um, this item is something I wanted at the very beginning of the day and went to the France Pavilion, was not there. I could not find it anywhere. Um, and of course I had to get these because of Remy's Ratatouille Adventure opened October 1st and we were there on October 1st. So I got myself a pair of the Remy's ears. Um, I forget what these retailed for. I think it was 40. Could be wrong. I'm pretty sure they were 40. Um, but we actually got them near like the Canada Pavilion. And it was between that one and like the Irish and Britain one. So um, there was a store full of merch directly related to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and I grabbed these. I thought they were so cute. Um, he's got the little chef hat, the little ears, and then he's got some whiskers on the side, and I will definitely be wearing these on our next trip, um, so I can put them on before Remy's Ratatouille Adventure starts. The next item I got on our second park day, and that was Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. So I got these from the Emporium at uh, Main Street in Magic Kingdom and uh, fortunately we did not have to witness anybody punching each other. Um, unfortunately there was lots of rude people in the Emporium still and they just had to get the Starbucks tumbler apparently. Um, but I didn't need that. I just wanted one item from the Emporium. Um, it was extremely busy, so not my cup of tea, but um, we got it before we went and park hopped and I was so excited because I wanted these ears. I thought they were adorable and so pretty. Um, they glitter and these are part of the 50th merch. So if I got anything that day, it was these. And um, I think they're just so pretty and like in the sunshine, they looked really good in photos and looked good with my outfit in the pictures. Um, so these are again added to my ears wall and my collection and I look forward to wearing these next time at Magic Kingdom. Okay, then we went to Disney Springs on day three where we didn't do any parks. We just kind of stayed at our hotel and then um, went to Disney Springs and did some shopping and ate. So this item I thought was so cool. And again, I was trying to kind of stick to a budget. Um, my boyfriend was with me, so he was kind of helping me stay accountable on that budget. Um, so I just had to grab like a few items that I really wanted or thought I could like use in the future. And this shirt was like one of the only t-shirts in the entire world of Disney store that I loved. Um, but it says Walt Disney World on the front. It's got cute little park icons. Um, so of course you have Spaceship Earth, um, like the China Pavilion. Um, let's see what else I got in here. Tower of Terror. Um, of course, Walt and Mickey with the partnership. Like, I had to. Um, this retailed for $25. And on the back, they literally put a whole list of every ride and when it opened in Disney World. So if we go through them, um, you know, starting with Cinderella Castle, October 1st, 1971, Country Bear Jamboree, October 1st, 1971, and the list goes on. 
um, and it tells you the opening date, which I thought was precious. And it ends with Star Wars Rise of Resistance, December 5th, 2019. When I went to go check this out, the cast member pointed out um, that on the back here, it's already outdated because Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is not on there. And it opened on October 1st of 2021. But that's okay. Um, I still think this shirt is awesome and I will definitely be wearing it on my next trip. Not sure what day, but we'll wear it one of the days. Uh, the next item is also from World of Disney at Disney Springs. And I wanted something to drink out of. Um, it was going to be a coffee cup um, with the castle on it and it was more of like an iridescent, like very glowy, sparkly cup. And I was like, it would be so nice to drink coffee out of that in the morning. I have tons of coffee cups and to be honest, I'm more of an energy drink versus coffee. And I was thinking of something that would be useful for me in the future. Ended up getting this water bottle. Um, that we found. It was not in the 20th merch area. It was like by the kitchen supplies. And um, how cute is all of these? Like we got a Mickey pretzel, um, the castle, there's um, Spaceship Earth, you've got the teacups, pirates. I mean, they have everything on this. And what was nice is we like tested it out. It fit in my lounge fly bag. Um, which usually like my hydro flask does not. This one does, so this is helpful. Um, that way I can stay hydrated um, and I don't have to carry around my bigger backpack. With this one, um, it's also like non-spillable. So there's like a little button here and if you press it in the bottom, it kind of shuts it and opens it um, so that it doesn't spill in my bag. But a uh, quick tip for you guys, do not pay for plastic water bottles in the parks. They're way too expensive. I think they range anywhere from like $4 to $8, depending on what park you're at. It's crazy. So make sure you're bringing a water bottle to the parks and you are filling it up either at the refill stations or you're asking for free water at quick services. Um, they usually put ice in there and then you can Put that in here and have ice cold water um, for a while. If you don't like the taste of Florida water or the water that they have in the parks, usually I'll pack a Mio with me and I'll kind of squirt some in and then that way you get some flavor in your water and you're still getting your water intake in. So quick tip for you, stay hydrated in the state of Florida. Lastly at Disney Springs we went to, um, I forget what store because there's two different Star Wars stores specifically. So it's the one closer to like Goofy's Candy Co, the Christmas store, um, Earl of Sandwich, that side of Disney Springs. There's a Star Wars store also closer to like Cirque du Soleil side. Um, that's not the one I got this from, but they might have had it there as well. Um, this is so cool. It's a Star Wars uh, magic band. However, it's like the slap bracelets that we used to have as kids. So you slap it on your wrist um, and it stays on that way. So I don't have to, you know, poke the holes through. Um, it has like Darth Maul, Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, of course, Millennium Falcon as the touch point. Um, so I thought this one was super cool and we'll wear this to Batu on my next trip. These last two items um, are not from the Disney parks themselves. Um, but I got them online for my upcoming trip and thought I would share them on here as well. This shirt is from Hot Topic. Um, out of all places, I found it for like $15. Um, so it's got Darth Vader on it with the red lightsaber. And what I kind of want to do for like my Hollywood Studios day for this next trip is more like a Darth Vader look because he is my all time favorite villain if anybody knows me. Um, I love Darth Vader. So I got this and I'm probably gonna like tie it up with a skirt or somewhere along those lines. Um, but super excited about this shirt and the price it was. And then last but not least out of this whole haul, this is my favorite item I got um, and also the priciest. 
but I saw a girl walking around with these. She was younger, um, so I didn't want to say anything to her, but she was wearing them in Hollywood Studios. And I Googled them after our trip and I was like, I have to have them. So Hollywood Tower Hotel ears with a little tassel. Um, they're the like maroonish velvet um, with the gold on the sides. And then it's got the Hollywood Tower Hotel key on it with a cute little bow. These are lounge fly. Um, they, I think, retail for 45. We were not finding them in the parks anywhere. So when I bought them online, I think they were close to like 60, 65. Um, let me just appreciate them for a moment here. Definitely wearing these on Tower of Terror next time. I think they're so cute and Tower of Terror is like definitely one of my favorite rides um, in Hollywood Studios. So had to, had to get these and they will definitely be going on my wall. So that concludes my small haul from Disney World slash the internet. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for future Disney content and I hope you guys have a magical day.